Hi guys, Beta Man here, and I am bringing you my mansion tutorial on how to build it. So, um, this is going to be quite a long one. So, I'm probably going to break it into three different parts. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to build this front area. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to build the. It's all going to be this front area and the wall. Then I will move on to the back of the house, probably including this. Um, I forgot the name chimney and then I will do all the inside rooms and then I'll do a separate video on the interior design for all the all the different things I've included in it and um, just a quick spotlight <laughs> on this magical thing that my brother left us in the game I'm guessing it's meant to be some kind of penis that's yellow and red with lovely white things coming out of it and there was one on the side of my house at first I didn't realize what they were I thought that was a lamp didn't have a clue, and then he came in and explained the, the situation. So let's get straight into it, and hopefully you guys will like it. Another thing, I am actually for this texture pack here. I'm using Monkey Farms modded John Smith texture pack. I'll point you over to his channel in the description. He's a really really good uh, YouTube Minecrafter. So he's modded the texture pack himself, and that's what I'm using for this. But I'll give you a quick spotlight on what it looks like with the default Minecraft texture pack. And here we are with the default Minecraft texture pack. So this is what it looks like with that, but I like it better when I'm using the custom texture pack. So let's switch back to that one. Right guys, welcome to the building flat platform. So this is just a flat land. It's got a few trees in. It must be the new update. And it's also a deep one, so it's not just ending in bedrock. Oh, damn it. Anyway. So the first thing you need to do to start this building is take some wool or you can just like dig a hole in the ground but I prefer using wool just to mark out the outline of what the house is going to be. Uh, just to mention now the house does take up a shitload of resources like I mean a lot so I do recommend doing this on creative and maybe using MC edit to import it into your world or if you do want to do the challenge then feel free and mine everything yourself get it all, do it all legit, that's totally fine, it's just up to you because it will take a long time to get all the resources for this but let's get ahead anyway. So I'm going to use, uh, we'll go for blue wool to outline the corners of my house. So first off just dig it and put it there, then you're going to go, go along 22 blocks in that direction. So 1, 2, 3, 21, 22 and then on the 23rd block put another blue on. So in total this is 24 blocks in width and then we're going to go back to the co other corner of the house and you want to go down 23 blocks and then on the 24th block put a blue. So let's go again. So here we go. Now you have the house, the three corners, you can just match up the other corner so just run along pop back down and make sure you're in line along a couple more here we go so there you have it those are the corners of your house and that is the basic outline so next we're going to do the fru the fru the fru going to do the two front rooms and they are both eight blocks in width so for this the corners of the front rooms i use stone slabs which are these ones here so this will be one corner and then you also want to do this for the pillars of the room. This is the design I've made so this is what you want to do. So it's eight blocks in width so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then corners again and it's also eight blocks deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And then just do the last corner. And repeat for the other side. And they have the outline for the first two front rooms. And then all you need to do for this bit uh, this will be the entrance area. I'll let you use sandstone for this, so just grab some sandstone, doesn't matter which one. 
whichever you fancy, and then fill in just a line so you know where it's going to be. And that'll be the outline of your porch area. You can do whatever you want with this porch area. You don't have to have one. You can just leave it empty. Um, it should really carry some grass in case I take it away. There we go. Now you're going to fill in these rooms. So what you want to do is add another two blocks to each corner and then another two and another two. But you want to leave a gap and then add two more. And do the same for all corners on each side. So you'll repeat it for this one. And then like so. So it looks like this and it's going to go on every single of these corners of the front rooms. So I'll just get to it and we should be ready to go soon. Right guys, so yours should be looking something like this. And... As you can see, I have added all three extrusions, if you want to call it, to each corner. And now we're going to go straight ahead and fill it in. So we're going to use, I used stone bricks. Where are stone bricks? Where are they? Stone bricks. There we go. Stone bricks. So it's just going to go one, two, three, four. You should have a four gap in here. And you're also going to need glass to fill in the windows. So the glass will be two in the middle and it goes three high and then fill in your stone bricks along the top as well. And then all you need to do is fill in the gaps. So that's the front wall. And the same again for this one. And onto the sides. So these are just going to be full bricks, no windows. Only going to be windows on the front of the rooms. So you can get ahead and do this. And that's the same for the rest of the walls so I'll just speed this bit up and just make sure you filled it all in. Right so I have filled in the walls and as you can see I've also filled in the front porch that's not too, you don't really need a description for that, it's just fill in with sandstone. So next we are going to do the front entrance, so this will be this part here and we're also going to fill in the floors of this and add the top part of the frontal rooms. So for this wall all you're going to do is just add in your stone slabs so they're symmetrical to these ones. So you do stone slabs, miss a block, stone slabs, miss a block, stone slabs. And then just fill in with your stone bricks. Bear in mind you don't have to follow everything I'm doing in this video. If you fancy putting different blocks in then feel free to do so. Like you don't have to use stone bricks for this, you could use cobblestone. You can use um, smelted stone. And just for the sandstone as well you don't have to use actual sandstone you can use grass you could use I don't know what else we've got lapis lazuli if you really wanted to just take out four holes for your door and if you want to you can put them in straight away or just leave it to last whichever is easier so get rid of that and then for the top part we're gonna use wooden logs I use oak wood but again it's just over your preference and you're gonna want to have them so they're facing upward or outward, again, your preference, but I've got them upward. Um, so just go along the front of your house like this and add them in. Take away the ones underneath. I've never found a way of putting them facing up without a block underneath yet. And there's going to be one extended over the edge. So remember, put that in and do the same for this side. So there we have that part. Next, we're going to build the frame. So this will be the frame of the these I don't know what they're talking front rooms on the top. That's what we're gonna go for. So I forgot to mention before that you're gonna need one sticking out over this end as well. Sorry about that. So here we go. So guys, once you've got this front set of wood blocks, you wanna add wood blocks or wooden logs along this area like so. So you can have basically two rows with one sticking out on the inside of the porch. So let's do the same with this side. Plant these like that. Ah, logs everywhere. Right, now for the front window area. You're going to have one block there, miss three gaps, one block there, miss three, and another block. Do the same for this side. One, miss three, one, miss three, one. And you're going to build these up six blocks, so the seven blocks high. And 
and repeat for these ones. You're going to grab your white wool. So you're going to need for this area, you're going to need white wool. Three blocks across, like so. And then your glass. So your glass is going to go up five blocks. And then you're going to fill in the outside of this blocks in between the logs with white wool, like so. Damn it! Drop my phone. Sorry, not five blocks of glass, just four blocks of glass. So take away another top of them, and then you're going to fill in these with white wool. so along the top and you should have actually left them logs there my bad and you're just going to trace along the top with your logs again so repeat the same steps for the other side and then check back here when you're finished I'll get started and I will fast forward it so you don't have to watch it okay guys so you should have something like this the next thing we're going to do is add in the backs of these rooms so get back to your logs and you're going to go along this wall with your logs like so and just trace along the back as well and make sure you get this one over the edge so you're going to go like this and remember to take away the bottom ones and then all you need to do is on each corner go up to the height of the top log so you're going to go up like so I think it's seven blocks yep there you go <coughs> and the same again for this one up to seven so we're going to fill in the walls and for this we're going to need glass and your wool so same as before wool all along, the, all along the bottom but then the middle two build up like so to the same height as the wool on this side so it's exactly the same and then build across fill in the edges so this is acting like a frame for the glass that you're going to put in and then just fill with glass and add the logs on top do the same for this side here so wool two in the middle build up that's the height build it along down the sides here we go glass in there and logs along the top Alright, so all that's left now is the back of the house. So, all you need to do is basically just choose any wood of your choice. That's just gonna, whatever you use for this um, wall here, this is going to be the interior walls of your house. So, make sure it matches with everything that you've got planned for it. So, just fill it in. It doesn't have to have any doors or anything right now. It's just to fill in the walls. So, just so you know where the room is. It doesn't have to look special, it can basically be that, or you can just leave it out so you can fill in later on when you're doing the insides and just add the woods along the top and it should look something like that. So that's the full room and all you need to do now is add the floors, but we'll get that to that on the interior of the house. So just repeat that step for this side and then check back here. I'm going to get started and I will see you in a little bit. So there we have it guys, you've got the two front rooms all finished. You just need to add the roofs on now. So I'm just going to add in the balcony area. So for this one I just used, what was it called, birch wood. There it is. And that was all the way along. Don't think I put it there. Hmm. Hmm, I can't remember. Yeah, we'll go for that. So, I'm not sure, but anyway, we'll see how it looks. And if it doesn't look right, then we will break it and build it again. So, is that right? I don't know. 
Let's quickly jump in my other world and check. Nope, that's the same world. God damn it. Save and quit. Single player. That one. And we'll see if I've failed or not. Have I failed? Have I failed? No, it's right. Yay! Back to the deep world. Here we go. There we have it. I'll fill in those. And ta-da. That's the balcony area. You can add a fence. Where's the fence? Damn it. Where's my fence? The fence! There it is. There we go. That'll do for now. So, on to the roof. This is how you make the roof. Right, so you've got your wooden planks along here. I'll just get rid of everything I don't need. Everything. That can go. So you're going to need... I forgot what I used. I think I used clay. Did I use clay? No, I didn't use stone. Yes, I used clay. So we'll get some clay. Or we can use a block of quartz. I'll use that instead. See if I can find clay. Let's use clay. So I use clay, uh, stone half slabs. So, ooh, what's that? Detector rail. Stone half slabs. What's that? Sandstone slab. And I use stone bricks. That's an O. And a W. I didn't even type that. Stone bricks. That's a monster egg. Where's the normal stone bricks? Uh, I haven't played Minecraft in so long. There we go. Stone bricks. Right. So this is how you do it. You got you need logs as well. Damn it, I'm not on the ball today. Not at all. Anyway. So you're going to go, from the inside, you're going to go along one and build up two. Then you're going to go from this one and build up another two on a diagonal. And the same again. So do on the diagonal. On the diagonal. Why can't I build that there? What? Oh, don't tell us I've reached sky limit. Are you joking? I think I have. Well, that's annoying. Oh, house. Well, that is going to be very frustrating. Hmm. Right, I'm going to have to build this again in a different world and then show you guys that way. So, be right back. <laughs> 